Blair Murray's converted penalty against Liverpool is one of only two goals that Brighton have scored this month. Chelsea top scorer Alvaro Morata has completed his one-match ban and is set to return for the visit of Brighton. David Lewis is still out with a knee injury and midfielder Charlie Moussonder is absent because of a groin problem. Brighton defender Shane Duffy is available again after serving a one-game suspension. On loan forward Izzy Brown is ineligible against his parent club, while Steve Sidwell remains sidelined with a back injury. MOTD commentators notes Jonathan Pierce with the teams around them in the table all having winnable looking back to our back games to round off 2017. Chelsea must take advantage of this game and stoke it home on Saturday. They deserved better at Everton. 25 shots was the highest tally in a Premier League game without scoring since January 2014. Brighton's first win in eight games against Watford has restored confidence. It was lovely to see Connor Goldson turning in a man-of-the-match performance nine months after life-saving heart surgery. Shane Duffy's return from suspension gives Chris Hewton a selection headache. They will be conservative. If they're too cautious, Chelsea will pick them off his arsenal. Manchester United and Tottenham have done. But if they counter with urgency, they could get a surprise draw here against tired Chelsea legs. What the managers say Chelsea head coach Antonio Conte on the forthcoming transfer window if there is the possibility to improve the squad on the numerical aspect, I think it would be a good choice. But at the same time, I'm enjoying working with these players. At this moment, I'm ready to continue to play with all these players. Brighton manager Chris Hewton we go to Chelsea knowing in most people's minds it is difficult to get a result there. There aren't too many who will expect that but that's the challenge, and for this club and these players these are the challenges we have been looking forward to the most. In the other big games, apart from Liverpool of 51 defeat, we have been in the games. LAWROS prediction Chelsea could not find a way past Everton on Saturday, and had to settle for a point. I am backing them to create a lot in more chances against Brighton and, with Alvaro Morata back from suspension, they will have a cutting edge too. Prediction 20 Lauro's predictions v the darkness singer Justin Hawkins think you can do better than Lauro. Predict the score for this match and the rest of this round's Premier League fixtures in our predictor game match fact sheet to head Brighton won the first meeting between the sides in January 1933 but have lost six and drawn one of the subsequent seven. The most recent clash was in March 1989, a 10-away win for Chelsea in Division 2 thanks to Kevin Wilson's goal. Brighton have only scored once in the last six meetings. Chelsea-Chelsea have won five successive league matches at Stamford Bridge since a 10-defeat against Manchester City on 30 September. Three of those five victories have come by a 10-scoreline. The Blues are unbeaten in the last 12 Boxing Day Premier League games W7, D5 Chelsea have won 8 of their last 11 games in the Premier League D2 L1, Chelsea have 39 points at the halfway point of the Premier League, which is 10 fewer than they had at this stage last, when they went on to win the title. Brighton have Albion Brighton have won just one of the last 8 D3, L4 and have only scored twice in the last 6 league matches. The Seagulls have scored five goals in the nine away league matches this. They have lost the last three away league games without scoring. Brighton are on an eight-match winless league run on Boxing Day D3, L5. Pascal Gross has been directly involved in nine Premier League goals. There's four goals, five assists, four more than any other Brighton player.